All right. Now, what's your question with your own reggae song? Have you gotten yes. the information that you yes. need? It's a protestant song. It's a, basically the guy is not happy with the situation of things in the country. Mm. Yeah, because basically the lyrics are like, um, now, in the, now in the streets there is violence and a lot of work to be done. Um, can't, he can't afford things on the TV. He's work, although he's working so hard like a soldier, he can't afford things on TV. He can't mm -hmm. get food for his kids. Mm -hmm. And who is to blame one? Who is to blame in one country? Mm -hmm. Like, and you never can get to that one person that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. So basically, he's just talking about things in the country and uh, talking okay. about going to protest and all that. Yes. All right. It's a pro one. It's a protest song. And you'll find protests in various areas of the song, like you rightly said. But it's about Brixton. There's an electric avenue in Brixton. It's, you know, it has all the um, lights and this. Now, Brixton is one of the, you should know somewhere, one of the um, cities in London. And it's mostly populated by blacks, especially Jamaicans, you know, um, people of West Indian origin. Now, the, the issue with... Electric, um, electric Avenue is actually, the protest is actually about racial tension in Britain. Right. Yes, the, and you know, they used to have a lot of protests in that area. Electric Avenue was actually notorious for marches and things, again, you know, especially on racial issues, okay? So basically that's the underlying, um, that's the main, main uh, thrust of the, of the message. It is political, all right? But then it, um, it also deals with all kinds of other issues, like you rightly pointed out, the fact that, you know, the poor, the, the inequality, the gap in, in, in inequality in the society is such that, you know, you work as hard as you can, and yet you can't make ends meet, okay? So that's, that's it. It just gives you a general idea of... The, so it, it, it can help you with the direction of how you sing, yeah, of your, uh, uh, with your understanding, yeah? So, so exactly, exactly. Okay, all right. Um, Trench Town Rock. What's your idea of Trench Town Rock? Um, basically, I only got the idea of the first part. When music hits you, you feel no pain. Yes. Um, then he started going on about Big fish or sprats, you reap what you sow, only Jaja knows uh, that part. I just Jaja ja, ja is God now. Yes, thank you. Yes. And then he kept repeating Kingston 12, Kingston 12. So I just had to get an idea of Kingston 12. Yes. Okay. Um, well, um, Trench Town Rock. Now, Trench, um, it's, it's an area. Trench Town is an area in Kingston, but a very poor area. It's where, it's, it's where the poor people live. And basically, what he's talking about is how music has uh, the ability of taking you beyond your circumstances, lifting your soul so that you are not mired in the situation. And he talks about what the situation is. You can find that in, in various lines. Anybody else have any issues with their song? Me. No, please, who is Marcus Gavi? Oh, God. You didn't tell you. Mar Marcus Gavi, wasn't he one of those... Um, uh, but of uh, West Indian ex extraction. Yeah, yeah. Is it what, what did he do? Because I don't uh, talk about Marcus um, Gavin, um, King, Salisi, Sia. Yeah, um, Heli Salasi. Abi Heli Salasi was the Ethiopian. You know, a lot of reggae artists they 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 take their inspiration from Heli Salasi. They believe that Heli Salasi is the Ethiopian Jew. All right. The, if you, or, or, um, the only black race, the only uh, black people that have Jews are Ethiopians, all right? And so you have a set of people who are Ethiopian Jews who are believed to be descendants 
of Solomon and Sheba. All right? Yeah. So the, from the relationship between Solomon and Sheba, you know she was from Ethiopia. In her going back to Ethiopia, the children that she, she, that were believed she had for Solomon are the Ethiopian Jews. And they actually believed to be the most authentic Jews in existence today. Yes, anybody else? I don't know what Raskimono was saying. And I didn't get my lyrics. So the better half of the things I wrote down, I'm not even sure it's even what he said that I wrote. It's what I heard. I mean, I when you hear this song, don't you just get this mad feeling? Sorry. Don't you I, get I do, I, the, the thing with Raskimono's song, though, is that it's just such fun. It is fun. But yeah. my problem is, it's not like as if I can't get into the song, but... You want to make sure the... that you are saying the right yes. thing? Yes. <laughs> And none of these, I, they, they, you don't know the Raskimono song. I know the Raskimono song. Eh, so, I'm eh, upset na. that they didn't even give me these 12 wins. Yeah, they, okay, they didn't give it to you, but they gave it to us. So, eh, pa. I will help her destiny. Yeah, a wicked song. And I've been begging him since. Yes. I was still coming to that's, the that's, no, no, that's, no, no, that's my, that's no, my, no, that's no, my no, judgment. No, it's not that much. I'm learning my songs. So, so, because you are learning your song, so she can't learn her song because you know the song and you're not telling her what the song is. That's what Joro master. Because if she knows the song now, you will go and pester her life until she tell you. Otherwise, you won't let yes. her. Arrest. At least I will yes. pester her life. She didn't pester my. She's a gentle lady. <laughs> really? Yes. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Jeff, you're fine. Oh, my own song is um, "Murder She Wrote." So I don't murder, know. Murder. She, she, I don't even know me, I don't know who is murdered. Because I tried to read the degree and I couldn't even. Murder She Wrote. Murder, she so I don't know whether I'm to be serious. You are me to be joking. Most of like most of Ray, most of like she's killing him. She has him. an agenda. Mm. Mm. Are the male folk. She has this that's facade. This okay, okay, that's what it is. Animal shaman, basically. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the so, whole. Okay, okay, she's an animal. Okay, she's collecting scalps. Yeah, yeah. That kind of well, I'm not to, point, I'm not to <laughs> point to any lady now. She yes, that, this kind of song. I'm not to point to any lady now. Don't. I'm not going to point. No, I can't point. Are you listening to me? I know this. That is a very... That murder she wrote. Who says pretty that they are pretty, pretty face and character. bad character? Sorry? Yeah, pretty yeah. Face, and pretty face, face and bad character. I don't know what my Them kind, the kind of living. It depends, it depends on how you put pretty face and bad What's character. What's the next line after that? Um, see, girl, you're pretty. Your face is pretty, but your character dirty. Girl, you just act too flirty, flirty. You run to Tom, Dick, and also Harry. And nice. when you find your mistake, you talk Are about you your sorry. Out. Sorry. You I, don't I don't know what the meaning of jokes and jumps is. Have her cross the corner where she jokes and she jumps. You know, there's, you know, there's, you know, there's, there's, you know, there's something, there's eh? Something. There's something about... Um... It's, it works on both sides. Women like bad guys. Yes. Probably don't want to like being married to them, mm -hmm. but like to experience them, OK? Yeah. And I think the flip side is also the same. Mm -hmm. Guys actually like. The, the innocent girls are the ones they live in the house. They never go to party with them but they go out to parties with their so-called bad girls and things like that because it's fun. There's a, there's a sense of excitement, there's a sense of danger mm -hmm. in relationships like that. And so it's that quality that you need to bring into the song, not the sense of preaching. You're not preaching. It's complaining. It's not even, it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, you're it's something, it's, it, you need to bring in that slight sense of excitement about it, okay? All righty, see you later. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, Ada? Are you? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Anderson, I know you. Jeff, yeah? They do. Yes, <laughs> yeah, fun. Yeah. I'm Ada. Ada, yes. <laughs> I'm Makumi. <laughs> Chale. Chale, what you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anderson. Yeah. Okay. Um, my name is Larioku Lemmy. 
My friends call me Lemmy Rarioku. Reason? I'm an artist. I put my surname first. Because in school, you feel yeah. surname first. Yeah. So I said, why, why should I be called first name first? <laughs> so my name is Rarioku. Let me. Yeah. Any one of you ever heard of me before? Um, yes, sir. Oh, really? I know you're responsible for quite a few of Fella's album covers okay. and stuff. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. Innovators. Yes. Cool. Happy to hear that. I have a lot to discuss with you. First and foremost, I'm a human being. Then I'm an African. African, not the continent per se, but an individual who is liberated mentally. So, ah, that's the expression of relief. Free like a bird. I can. I am somebody. I can be somebody. That's the attitude each and every one of you should have for, for life. Every one of us as human beings, we are born to this earth with a purpose. Everyone has a purpose. Everyone. But the problem is when we come to the earth, sometimes our parents, you know, have mixed up ideas. So, you know, when I was growing up, parents wanted all their children to be either doctors, lawyers, or engineers. So my dad wanted me to be an engineer, mechanical engineer. By the time I finished secondary school in 1973, I had ample time. I was trying to decide, you know, th those days you wait for two years before my certificate comes. So I was waiting in between. But I had so much time, I kept practicing. I would have been a musician. I sang a song with Daniel Wilson in 1992. It's my song. I composed it, yeah? I sang it with Daniel. We recorded it. We did video. When I go in the street, you know, you know music makes you popular so easily. <laughs> Even though I've been doing so much, people recognize me based on that video of the song. I started out learning high life music because my uncle had a high life band. So he now recorded an album, and he said to me, ah, you, since you like to draw, try and do my record slip. Can you imagine? So I tried, but it wasn't professional enough. Uh, Decca then, Decca, the record company, um, they didn't accept it. That was my first attempt ever. Then, that was 73. Also, at that point in time, I started going to television station. Um, this NTA was called NTS. It used to be National Television Service. The same place in Victoria Island here. Yeah? I'll come, so I'll do live drawing of the presenters. People like uh, Ataladi, the father of Daria Ataladi. Um, people like Dejumon Lewis. So those days you go on TV, they show you, you can't watch it again, it's not recorded. So when I'm leaving, I tell people in my neighborhood, I say, I'm going to TV today. When I get back, they tell me, ah, we saw you, you are drawing, this and that. So that's how I started. I'm talking about destiny now. You see, um, when I do workshops with people, uh, with students or whatever, and they say, what's my advice? You see, the greatest advice I like to give anyone is, first and foremost, find out who you are. Find out who you are. So when you find out who you are, the next thing, you start getting the vibe of what gift you have. Everyone has a talent. So if you know the gift you have, please hold on tight to it. Then the next thing is you have to hone your skills. Hard work pays. It doesn't kill. Please, hard work. I learned that from Fela. Fela was, Fela was like three human beings together anyway. With all the craziness that was going around him, Fela was a freedom fighter. He was a musical genius. He was a philanthropist. Yeah. He was a rebel. He was an iconoclast. You understand? One person rap all that. And his saxophone, he has to practice. He consumes like five hours of the day on the sax, not at the same time. As we're speaking, if it was fella, he has a sax with him. He will get a little distracted. He practice, maybe it's two minutes, then he continues talking to you. And I look, I say, wow. I was 18. And I'm saying, wow, wow. So time is running out. Let me quickly show you all um, practical things. Um, your generation didn't get to see vinyl. <laughs> so my generation started with vinyl. I'm happy to be around 
uh, to see the uh, CD and all that. Um, to start with, like I, I, I mentioned that I have a insightful mind. I always like to check things out and follow things. This is from 1973. Wow. It's 42 years old. This thing I'm holding. I've been keeping it since. This was the original Whalers, the group, the reggae group. Not Bob Marley and the Whalers. The Whalers. They were originally a group. This is their first international album. See the packaging. It's called Catch a Fire. So this is a cigarette lighter. You understand? You see, when I bought the record in 1973, my spirit felt like, wow, I look at it, I look at it, I look at it. I didn't know I was going to make a career out of sleep designing. So this is my foundation for knowledge. This part of my foundation. I still have it. Those days, you know how much record is? 6 9 50 cover. Uh, this is my first album cover, Ella. Yeah, 1974. That's, you know, 41 years ago. This is one of my biggest covers, Beast of No Nation. You can see the illustration, so powerful, very political. Okay, this is the one that Fela rejected. Now he's not around to see that I got it on the cover eventually. <laughs> um, that's Kalakuta, that's um, Fela's house that was born. Uh, we don't have time, there are ah, story if I tell you to the Character is king and queen. You understand? Yes, so, whatever you do, keep humility. Because we are all equal human beings. We are all equal. Please, forget about the titles. How did we come into the world? We all came by death, right? Yes. And when we live, we live in death. We never live with anything because we didn't come with anything. So, whoever has all the biggest property or is a general, is whoever, when you die, you die. When you were born, you were not a general. And when you die, your general finish. You understand? So that's life. So keep humility. That will help you a lot. Talent, talent is just like 10%. Talent is just 10%. It's not the most talented person that gets ahead in life. Sometimes, goodwill. Goodwill does more than your talent. Your character, the vibe you exude, the confidence that you show and that humility makes you a king or a queen before people. Please, everyone say, I am somebody. I am somebody. I am somebody. I am somebody. I am, somebody. I am a true African. I am a true African. The African, ah, relief. Free, and I can. Like fella would do like this. You understand? So, we all should be true Africans. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you for having me here.